All right, guys, today we have a pretty cool pack opening. We're going to be going ahead and opening up all these packs right here, including two elite player packs. We have an offensive player and we have a defensive player. Comment today coming in from Jetson Rayner, who actually has been asking me this a lot now. A lot of people have been asking me this. How do I have the game early? Guys, first off, PC released yesterday. The whole entire game released yesterday, and EA Access also released yesterday. So, right now we're playing on EA Access, but of course the whole entire game uh, we released yesterday. So, that's how I was able to go ahead and play the whole entire game. Alright guys, the like goal for this video, guys. Can we smash 75 likes? Hit the like button down below. I'm going to go ahead and help us smash that goal. And finally, not, uh, last but not least, question of the day is going to be, who is your favorite player you have played with so far in month 19? Let's get started, guys. So let's go ahead and go from left to right. We're going to start off with our training fantasy pack. As you can see, I'm going to, I'm going to take my headset off my mic on, on my head real fast. Now, these are currently just, you know, any power-up players. So I don't know who I'm going to power up later on, you know, throughout the time. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and go with Fletcher Cox. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and go with... Let's go with, mm, let's go with White Tackle, Ryan Ramchek. Why not? Let's go ahead and go into the next pack. Uh, going through. We have our tight end. And after we go ahead and open up all these packs, we will go ahead and show you guys what my lineup looks like. And these are just uh, tight end fantasy packs, which aren't really that crazy. Just, you know, overall wise, just a card you can add to your team and make your team a tad bit better. So we should go from 69 overall to probably like a 75 in all honesty after we go ahead and get all these players um added to the squad. So we get some more cornerbacks added to the squad. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the 75 overall right here. Let's go ahead and go to the next cornerback pack and that's going to go ahead and be uh, let's see right here. Hope we can get a 79 overall. That's what I'm hoping for with all these gold player packs and honestly just getting a higher overall uh, pool like a 78 a 79 just like we did right there now i think we go ahead and the captain upgrade packs is that the i'm pretty sure what that is is this yeah so yeah it's just uh training uh points let's go ahead and quick sell that go back and do that once again we have the right end pack we have the left end pack and again uh currently my team is not that bad now of course if you guys did see my uh, live stream yesterday you saw my team is actually pretty good on PC. Now, we do not have that same team on Xbox because of the fact that we did go ahead and switch over to Xbox. So, we didn't have the pre-order bonus and the 12 fantasy packs to go ahead and be able to create this fantastic, crazy team as we had over there. Which does kind of suck, but it's just how it works. Alright, let's go ahead and go with right tackle. We're going to go with this guy. Um, and then, of course, we have left tackle, and we're going to go ahead and go with my man here, Taylor Decker. Kind of nice, though. You got you get two gold players for that one position. Uh, let's go ahead and open up one of the elite players. We're going to start off with the defensive elite player here. Uh, let's go ahead and go with him. Who are we going to get to solidify our defense and add to the squad? And it's going to be 82 overall, Adoree Jackson. Now, of course, this can be any player, you know, available in Madden 19. So it's not just like it's like... You know, the best players available. You could get Luke Keekly. You could get these crazy players at the same time. You get exactly what I got right there, which isn't that crazy in all honesty. All right, so offensive line-wise, we're going to go ahead and get DJ Fluker. And then going ahead and getting Evan Smith for our next guy. Now, of course, I got all these players through the campaign solo challenges. So if you guys have not done them already, if you are doing EA Access, or if you have the full game because you got through Mutt Woods, that is how you go ahead and that's what you should probably should start on. Get a lot of good coins, get a lot of good cards, and upgrade your team slowly but surely. And you'll be able to be pretty good uh, the first week of man. So we have Gold Center. And honestly, my whole entire team should be Gold players after this, uh, you know, after this pack opening is done. So that's a pretty nice way for EA to start up us off for Madden 19. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Gold uh, free safety pack. We're going to go ahead and go with Eddie Johnson. Eddie Johnson? Yeah, Eddie Jackson, my bad. Eddie Jackson. Let's go ahead and go strong safety gold pack. And this is going to go ahead and be... Uh, let's go ahead and go at 77 overall here. I think Books might have been a little bit better. I think I just knowing his card, I think he might have been a little bit faster. But I think we went for a good pull there. Let's go ahead and go for the offensive elite player pack. Who are we going to pull? Something good. Something great. And we get 80 overall Joe Thune. 
I, I mean, it does suck because, you know, you grind all that way on, you know, for your team and then you get like an 80 overall, but I mean, it's all random. It's, you know, you just kind of, it's the luck of the draw at this point. Uh, so two not so great when it came to gold or oh, elite players. Um, my friend PJ actually went ahead and pulled Luke Keekly and that is honestly, again, one of the best players in the game. So obviously it's awesome when you pull stuff like that. But at the same time, you could pull something crap in all honesty like I did. And that's just how it works. Uh, just a lucky uh, lucky draw and sometimes you get the bad end of the stick. Nonetheless, though, I'm not completely done all the solo challenges. I still have four of the full games to do and I will be doing them after I get done this video. So with that in mind, guys, that's pretty much uh, almost so all, almost all the packs open. We're going to do best team available and then I'll go ahead and show you guys some direction I want to take this team in the near future. Now, of course, on PC is a little bit different than console uh, just because of the fact on console, you know, I had to start all over. You know, on PC, I was playing on doing PC completely, but I had to start over when I went to go to console. So let's go ahead and see. I think we have enough captain uh, tokens to get one of the two players for our squad. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, we have, yeah, we have all four to go ahead and get one of the players. I think I'm going to go ahead and do offense first and get that out of the way. And the offensive player I'm going to get is Shady McCoy. So we have the offensive captain hero pack. Go ahead and opening that up. What you're going to see right here, we do go ahead and we have all these players. Uh, personally speaking, I'm going to show you guys these players. They're all upgradable, all these players. So if you want to get them and then upgrade them throughout the year, you can't, oh, not all the players, sorry, my bad. Only one of the players is not upgradable, and that's Shady McCoy. Every other player is upgradable. Uh, we have Shady McCoy right here. Um, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, Mr. Golden Tate the third. We have Jordan Edelman. And finally, we have um, Mr. Zach Ertz. I'm pretty sure these are upgradable because it says that little icon. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. Sean McCoy is the one we're going to go with, though. We go with LaShawn McCoy, and let's go ahead and go back and show you guys the best team available for this squadron. Now, of course, not having to deal with contracts is so nice in Madden 19, just because the fact we don't have to deal with, you know, like we do best team available, we don't have to sort stuff out based on contracts. So this is what the squad is looking like now. Now, of course, on PS on PC, we were a 76 overall after going ahead and doing all the pre-order bonuses, adding all the cards to our squad, and everything like that. This squad right here is going to go ahead and be an 80 or 77 overall without having to get any of that pre-order bonuses so when we do get the pre-order bonuses we have 12 fantasy packs plus the squad we already have to go ahead and add to so it's gonna be really really nice of course you guys know we're doing no money spent this year so we're not going to be able to have these crazy luxury teams that a lot of people will have but you know i honestly if i had to be honest here i think we can go ahead and make do with the team we have through sniping grinding doing solo challenges and just walking everything in this game i think we can make a lot of freaking coins by just going ahead and doing that kind of stuff so with that in mind the direction i want to go honestly is i do want to go ahead and walk on my defensive line that's something i always you know stress in any kind of team build is offensive line and defensive line so i want to walk on my defensive line i want to walk on my offensive line honestly offensive line we're not too too bad because of all the players we got but i still want to walk on that a little bit I want to get a more solidified quarterback. I'm hoping with the 12 fantasy packs, we can go ahead and, of course, get Antonio Brown. We're going to get Von Miller on the left-hand side. And we get 10 rookie premier players to add to the squad. Of course, Saquon Barkley being an 88 overall once he does go ahead and get an upgrade on August 14th. Uh, nonetheless, though, Shady McCoy will be the guy to you know, fill in until that does end up happening. Let's go ahead and add... Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a chemistry slot to Shady McCoy and go ahead and add another. Uh, let's go ahead and go with balance offense. That's what I was trying to go for for a lot of my players. So we're going to go balance offense for him. And I might add some different chemistries once I go ahead and add some more players to the squad. But at this moment, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions of this squad. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you guys think of it? I honestly think we are definitely a good start. And I know some people's squads are crazy with the 80s or 90 overalls. I'm not that crazy when it comes to my pulls. I didn't pull any crazy, crazy cards like the Randy Mosses or the Champ Baileys. And trust me, guys, I've seen people on Twitter going crazy pulling those cards. Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. With no money spent, 
we probably won't be opening up as many packs as we will with money spent, but we do have 165,000 coins. So do expect after EA access is over and the game actually comes out, expect a spending spree of just max proportions, building a really good roster that we can take online against solo battles, CPU, and just go ahead and grind against our online people, of course. With that in mind, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one. Peace out.